First off, I want to thank everyone for their overwhelming response to this product. Due to the quantity of people that have reserved the Iron Master, we are bringing this product to market. And again, we thank you for that. If you haven't reserved your Iron Master yet, do so. And essentially what the Iron Master is, it's a set of pipes pinned together and mounted to the floor and covered with padding. Now this padding is on the arms, obviously on the body, and around the legs and the base of the Iron Master. This padding is obviously installed to protect the end user from impact of the metal, the pipes that are within the Iron Master's bone structure or body frame. Now right now it's actually loose, it's freely rotating right now, but there is an option to lock this into multiple positions depending on what type of style you're using and, and how you want to do that. So with that said, you can simply turn the handle in the back here, there are 12 holes, 12 different locking positions, and once it's turned, you can pull on this as hard as you want, kick it, punch it, and it won't move, it will not move. Now simply turn the handle to loosen it, you're back free again. Essentially, it's held together by these Velcro straps and pad plugs in various locations. You'll see there's the uh, Velcro on the edges of the arms and also on the edges of the body pads. The reason for the straps and the different Velcro uh, pad plugs is so you can reconfigure the Iron Master into multiple configurations. Uh, Everything is held together by inch and a half thick, heavy duty, triple sewn Velcro. So, uh, essentially, all you need to do to take this apart is Pull apart the Velcro up here as shown. Now this pad plug is unique. Uh, this is essentially an encased piece of padding that is held in with um, the heavy canvas wrapped around it and these padding tabs or strap tabs that are basically Velcro covered to lock in to this position here and keep everything intact. Now these are very important pieces to the Iron Master. Now, the body pads are essentially, they're all configured the same way. They are wrapped three times, half inch thick, but they're fully encased. But you never have to take this apart. You simply slide it over top in the configuration that you want, and it slides on and off easily. So we have wrapped this around three times, and it also makes it extremely strong. As you can see, it's very thick, inch and a half thick, and it's very rigid, and uh, it's very durable. So you simply slide it off. Uh, the arms, same way, they simply slide right off. Okay. Now this is again the same configuration. It is the triple rolled uh, encased foam padding. But as you can see, it's a very, very strong, very durable uh, foam product. Now the inside here is essentially a four inch diameter pipe, steel pipe. Very, very solid, quarter inch thick steel. There is no way, I don't care how bad you are, that you're gonna bend or break this piping. Now the inside here is basically piping, or the bone structure as I call it, for the Iron Master. Now the piping uh, had this made out of a, uh, basically it's a zinc plated steel to keep it nice and shiny and so it doesn't scratch. The body itself is a black powder coat paint. Uh, but now it's held together by these locking pins. The locking pin system is, is what makes it really quick and easy to reconfigure. It's got a little locking pin here, as you can see, and it has a little finger tab here for quickly removing the, um, the locking retaining pin. Now, to, to take it apart, you simply slide the pipe out, and that's all there is to it. Again, solid steel, very strong construction. Um, you can't break this. So as you can see here, now we have the top piece. It just has a little, a little top cap on it right there. And there's multiple holes in here, depending on what configuration you want to lock this into. Now to take it apart, you can take off these body straps here. You can actually hold multiple sections together. So I'll peel that off. As you can see, it's, it's a very uh, strong piece of canvas, cotton canvas. It's got the inch and a half Velcro all the way down the length of it, down to the bare bones here of the Iron Master, or the, the, the basically the torso, the steel pipe torso of the Iron Master. Um, it's very rigid. I have it mounted to a concrete base right now, which we'll show you in subsequent videos of how to actually install and mount the Iron Master. Very simple to do, depending on whatever floor type you have, wood, concrete, it can mount on just about any kind of floor. Uh, so again, this is a very strong pipe. 
Got your holes all throughout it for the different configurations. Uh, you have your wind chum hole locations. And here's the final pad here. It's got the logo on it. And so uh, all the pads are basically made of the same material and same methodology. You have two of the larger pads and three of the smaller body pads. And they stack in the various configurations depending on what configuration style that you're looking to assemble. And you can see again, you have the multiple holes. These are the slotted holes for the high-low arm configuration that allow the pipes to go down and up. And again, you can have one in, and I shall show you that while we're, while we're looking at this here. So essentially you have this pipe here, and it's got some additional holes in the ends here, which allow for it to go into the high-low configuration. Uh, so I'll just show you real quick here how, how easy it is to put together. You just stick it inside the hole here, okay, and there you go. It's laying in there, gravity holding it for now. And you put the final lock pin on the back side here. And then now you have the beginning of the high-low assembly. Now you could have just single one arm out if you want to just practice with one arm, not worry about the bottom leg coming at you. Or you can put both in where you just have simply the leg in there and just kick that around the, uh, the lower end. So, so you can see again the slot, the steel, you're, you're never, I can, I can hang on this and you're not going to break this. I mean, there is some deflection, you will get some movement, but uh, for the most part, it is not going anywhere and you're not going to break the steel that this thing is constructed on. As you can see, it's pretty simple design, but it's very heavy duty. We've uh, constructed this out of uh, probably overkill material, but again, we want you to be able to feel confident once you purchase this that you can beat on it, kick on it, abuse it the most that you can think of, and nothing will happen. Now, the bottom is basically, it's a piece of pipe, same, same pipe material, but there's no holes in it. It just stays stationary. And there's a pad that wraps around it. This now, the legs, they're held in place by a simple lock pin, um, just a simple drop-in lock pin, nothing fancy there, and they just simply pull off. You just give a little rock motion here, boom. And essentially, all you have is five sockets here and these little socket caps that basically protect you from uh, hitting the edge of this, just a rubber cap there to kind of put some nice finished closure on it. And uh, this product, as you can see, it's very versatile and there's a wide range of ways it can be used, depending on your style. Obviously, for kicking, uh, it, it simulates a human, a standing human. And the, the tactics that you use to spar with somebody, it, you, as you know, as you become more proficient in higher levels of your martial art, whatever it may be, it becomes difficult to actually spar with someone and hit them as, as hard as you can because you don't want to damage your, your fellow martial artists that you're practicing with. So that's really what the basis behind this product is, is being able to really go full force with your martial arts skill at full strength and not hurt a human. You can test out your techniques, your kicking, your bone breaking skills on a piece of metal pipe and uh, he won't mind. Actually, he's, he's looking forward to you coming to beat on so, all right, well, thanks for joining us, and uh, that's it.